So it's now been over a week since I had my second laser session and oh man, it's been so nice. So much effect. Looks so much nicer, in my opinion. And it's so much easier to shave too. Pretty soon I don't have to shave at all in the morning. But something else has been on my mind. How it still blows my mind that estrogen will make your hips grow. I never thought of that when I started transition. I mean, I, I kind of thought like, eh, I'll probably try to for that, so whatever. But in September, I know in December, my hips were pretty achy, but that kind of went away. But man, in the past week, my hips have been aching a lot. They don't hurt. They just are a bit sore. And it's kind of, it's kind of pissing me off a little bit. But it's kind of interesting. So last August, my hips were like measuring at the around my butt. It was 835 millimeters, and now 865 millimeters. So let me get my calculator. My 1975 brother calculator from the Illinois State University. Her, yeah, got that for a buck. So let's see, H35 divided by 3.14, oh, whoops, this thing has a weird issue where it will kind of spaz out, okay, so H35 divided by 3.14 is about 266 millimeters wide, so 266, then we have 865 divided by 3.14, 875, so, damn, almost a centimeter wider, that's like five centimeters on each side, wow, holy shit, I can also tell because my, my pants are getting really tight, of course I just have the, I, these are the same pants I've had since I was like 15, so they just, they're like the ones that, because back then I was getting, getting out of my growth spurt, so my mom was like, you're getting the ones with the elastic adjustable thing. So and I'm just going to have to undo it like I'm going to undo the elastic right now and let it go out two uh, loops just because, weird. But I do have to say I'm extremely happy about this because it used to be I never was able to really hold much stuff up with the belts, at least the belt by itself. If the belt is on the pants, I'd, I'd sit it down really hard and it was, yeah, it would it'd be okay. But now, oh man, the belt, belt works even better. So, it's very, ugh, a tool belt's gonna be so amazing. I just can't, can't wait. I mean, think about it, if my hips are wider, I can have an even larger carrying capacity on the tool belt. You know? And, that's, I recently got this, another, I can't remember if I showed you guys, but whatever. Recently got another Delta lamp, railroad slash miners lamp, and I really wanted to make it to where I have a, a tool belt. So I can have the tool belt and I can have a nice folding ruler, a Coase wrench, some screwdrivers and stuff like that, all fitting into a two by three by six inch pocket, really, really nice pocket. It's kind of similar to this pocket that's in Final Fantasy XIV. Although, it's probably going to be exactly like those because I've wanted those for like the past half a decade. Well, what if I can make that belt and whatever the fuck it's called, and I can have like a latch thing to where I can have that on the belt. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be amazing? So I can have this this lamp on the belt, and so it could be like a quick connector. So you can go like, oh, man, it's so cool. I love this thing though. I've decided. I got some of these ten these uh, ten watt red LEDs for the rear lights of my tricycle. I haven't used them for that yet, obviously. And I got like eight of them. So I have, well, I'll take one and I'll put it in the top. 
So the top light will be red. That'd be kind of cool. And of course, I have a 100 watt LED laying around somewhere. I'll put that in the front. The front's kind of cool because it you can pop off the plastic, which I'm going to see if I can use hydrogen peroxide to clean up plastic because maybe that can dissolve the if this is a if it, if it is bromine in here that's causing the the um, yellowing then yeah I can use possibly hydrogen peroxide to make this clearer or I can just try to make one from scratch but to be honest I don't know I'll try it just by itself if it if this stops too much light and it starts heating up then that might be an issue but this is all nice I started cleaning up the side of that and that's cleaning up really nice just from rubbing with a piece of cloth too and then this is actually how it's supposed to go you can actually change the bulb like this now that's not exactly good because the the 100 watt LED is like I'd say like 2 inches by 2 inches so that won't be able to fit through there duh and so I'm going to have to hook that on the inside probably taking off this cover, hooking it in there, but I might be able to have like a little Anderson can actually go through here or something like that. But it'd be really nice if I could integrate this to where if if these threads line up so it takes the same amount of turns to thread in, then theoretically I could just have this inset into here. A connector similar to that. So that you can have both threads threading at the same time and at the same speed. So I could have this threading onto the outside of the, sh of the shaft. Meanwhile, the in inside one was threading onto the inside at the same rotation, making the connection with the 100 watt LED, but not making me have to take the thing apart. Because I don't think... So. Oh. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I forgot if you take this like... Like that. Undo two screws, and the entire mechanism on the inside comes out. Never mind. I am an idiot. Yeah, the entire mechanism comes out, and that little um, little arm comes out. So right now, that little arm is kind of instead. It's quite simple. Okay, so I just remove that. I just undo those two screws. Take all the innards out. And then I just have a wire coming out. So yeah, that'll probably be better. And now that I've kind of finished my tangent about the Delta lamp and my ideas for it and stuff like that, I'm feeling my hips hurting again. That's really bad today. I've been walking a lot today though, so that that, that can that can really use. Oh yeah, I've been off walking a lot. I've been walking a good amount, like only a few miles, but yeah, it's kind of. In between. It hurts. Well, no, it doesn't hurt. It aches. Yeah, it's not quite hurt. It's just like, it's growing pain. It's like, it's like really in there. It's like pain that's like, it's like in the middle of you. Like, really, it's like, it's annoying, you know? It's not that like it hurts. It just is annoying. It's like, this sucks. Kind of makes you feel kind of grumpy or grouchy. But then on the other hand, it's like, well, hey, it's a free, it's another free thing that I didn't know I was going to get. Didn't think I was going to get. And it might help me out look better but the real thing that I like is that more data more data yes I mean just like from December to now I've gone from uh, 855 to 865 millimeters around so I was like oh that's interesting data but of course I have like this weird like love for any like long experiments that take a long time, whether it be like running a battery till it's dead or gender transition or whatever. I just have a, I have a huge obsession with experiments that go for a long time. Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to quickly edit today's video, upload it, and then lay in bed because it's like... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.